am I the asshole for telling my wife that I'm not taking off work to be present at our daughter's birth? Mm. <laughs> That's already already wild. already, wild. already, wild. already wild. wild. My daughter is expected to be born sometime this month, so I've been picking up extra work in order to have more money for the baby. Yesterday I came home and my wife asked me when I would be taking off work so I could be beside her. I told her that I wouldn't because there's a big project coming and they need me. My boss is also married to the sister of one of my wife's brother's friends and they've all known each other for a long time. When I got out the shower, my wife told me that she called my boss, which is kind of wild, yeah. <laughs> and that he was giving me as much time off as they need with pay. Then she says, you told me that there was a project that they needed for you, but I just was told that they didn't, you didn't even ask for any time off. In fact, you asked for more work. That's kind of wild already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got upset. For one, I told her this when I was first off of the job, and I, I want her, and I don't want her to be using friendship with my boss to get any special treatment. Two, I think it's disrespectful that she overruled my d decision to work by going over my head. Instead of talking to me and having me call if I decided to take w w off work, she decided by herself that I was going to take time off and called my boss on my behalf. Imagine you decide something at work and your spouse calls to your boss and tells them that's not how you want to do it. How would you feel? She apologized about calling but still was still mad but that I never asked for time off. I explained to her that I wanted extra money to have after the birth, and plus the baby wouldn't even remember me being there. She burst into tears and said she wanted me to be there, and I felt bad, and I said I would try to be there if I could, and everything was fine until this morning when I was getting ready for work, and she said, are you still going to work? I said, yeah. She asked me, what if the baby starts to come? I said, her mom will be there, and I will try to rush over to the hospital as fast as I can. She said, fine, go, I don't care anymore, with, any with an attitude, and I left. I just got a text from her mom saying, same on you, and my mom saying, I'm disappointed, and I thought I raised you better than this. Those words would break me. If my mom said that to me, bro, I don't get what the big deal is. Why is everyone making a big deal about me not being at her, beside her? How many of you remember your parents being beside you? I want to take time off after the baby's born so I could bond with her. It doesn't make sense to me to be there before. I know my wife wants me to be there, but we're always together. What are your thoughts? Okay, first, before we even uh, like start the conversation, am I the asshole, yes or no? I 100% agree he is. You know? He's the asshole? I, I do think so. Him not wanting, and I feel like you and I would agree with this, is it's a core memory for you, want to be, for you wanting to be beside your wife at the moments right before she's giving birth and also when the baby's first taken out, right? Mm -hmm. Like being able to hold your child for the first time moments after you just saw them in between, like in your in your girl's belly mm -hmm. and being able to hold and know that this is the moment of your life that you're going to be dedicating everything to, you know? 100%. I think him not wanting to experience that at, and at the same time, you're there for moral support, you know? Yeah. Like you just you being there gives your wife some form of like, a support system that everything's going to be okay rather than her doing this whole scary process alone. It's not like we give birth. All we got to do is show up, bro. Just got to be there. <laughs> we just got to show So him not wanting to be there for a moment like that, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of crazy to me. Like, I, I, that's a core memory for me. I would remember that when I'm 80 years old, my kids are going, like, they have their own family. And yeah. me knowing that I was able to be there for them at the start of their life. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't understand. How are you? Uh, well, to answer the question, yes, I do believe that that person is the asshole. But to add to what you're saying, I don't think that this person is ready to be a parent. Mm. Like, I think that they're not understanding the, the, the gravity of being a parent yet. Because, like, the wife already went through trying to figure out if he needed to be at work and discovered that he didn't need to be at work. So mm. this is just him doing this for the sake of or the need that he thinks he has yeah. to be at work, right? When rather he should be at home supporting his wife, right? Mm -hmm. And and for me, the part that I can't, like, I can't comfortably agree with leaving a near, like, near-due pregnant woman at home to, t or, you know, tend to her needs herself. And I feel like th at that stage of pregnancy, I don't really know how, like, did they say how far along she was? No. But I'm just assuming that she's in the position where she can't do much for herself, right? Mm -hmm. So on top of moral support, she will need his physical support. Like, yo, can you get me this? I'm craving this, you mm -hmm. know, like, uh, I'm not feeling good in this way. You know, like, she needs, like, somebody kind of helicoptering her while Back, she's yeah. going through this, right? So, A, I think he needs to be there for that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm considering him to be the asshole for. And B, 
um, his points, some of the points that he brought up, like kids don't remember their parents being next to them. That like, why is that like? That's why not relevant. Is, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no human being that can remember when they were born. You know, so that's yeah. not a reasonable point to give in this situation. The only reason why people want their significant others there at the pregnant or the, at giving birth stage is because they don't want to do that alone, mm-hmm. right? And what better person than the, the mother and father? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, um, so I think that that person is in 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 a way not ready to be a parent mm-hmm. right and it's kind of s- selfishly reluctant to accept that new I- I like idea of being a father in his life so mm-hmm. yes he's 100 percent the asshole i also want to like I-, I wish there was more context in these stories because like you know like with with, yeah, with talking be, to people get you know like with talking to people <laughs> yeah. you understand a, l- a little bit more of kind of where they're coming from right mm-hmm. but um to to kind of 100 percent neglect the fact that your your wife is going through one of the most wildest like hard times of her life mm-hmm. for the sake of the family that you guys have created without like if you can't see that with your own two eyes then there's something there's a glaring issue with you you know mm-hmm. and that needs to be addressed whatever that blockage is that's Box. stopping him from being a father mm-hmm. that needs to be addressed and one more point one last one last thing i'll say is Go ahead. with this situation being the way it is i don't see that relationship continuing very long really yeah okay because his priorities are very different from what they should be, you know? Um, and especially with the new baby on the way, like, it's, shit's about to get harder, you know, not easier. So I, I disagree with you. Okay. And on, on that final point. Why is that? Because to the, the, the whole, you know what I was thinking, fam? When mm-hmm. I was reading that story, mm-hmm. it was two people trying to do things for the family mm-hmm. in two different ways. They had two different perspectives. One was like, you should support me, be at my side. You should be there for me at when I'm at my most, most vulnerable, which is fair. Mm-hmm. I totally agree with that. Mm-hmm. His perspective, although it may seem like he was the asshole, mm-hmm. which I do agree he is, mm-hmm. he was still looking at it from a perspective of, I'm doing this for the family. I'm How making so, money. Um, I'm, I'm on a big project, which would, you know, therefore... But that was, that was all debunked because she called his boss, yeah. found out that he didn't need to be there, and he was going to get paid for being out of work. So uh, financially, fair, he would have been stable. But you, coming from somebody who works in HR, yes, you're, you are going to be, you're still going to get paid, but you're going to get paid of, like not 100% of how much you make. I understand that too. So, uh, that's, that's, that's another reason. That's another like reasonable point to add. Yeah. But does that little bit of money loss, does that outweigh the need to be with your wife? No, but if thinking about it financially, maybe mm-hmm. that little bit is required in order to have maybe a savings or because if he i'm the, the story didn't give us enough context yeah, right yeah, but yeah. i'm assuming probably that mm-hmm. he's off work completely mm-hmm. and he is the sole financial like person in the house so mm-hmm. he, i think his thought process was i need to take care of my family you know i understand so if he is not bringing home as much money as before mm-hmm. especially especially with a baby coming which is going to be your most expensive i can understand that fam but like to, to me it's like you're still it's not like you're going cold turkey you're not getting you're not, a paycheck you no. know you're gonna get paid but your time is really what's in question here you know like your time should be priority like the priority one of your time should be spending time with your wife and making sure she is comfortable before she gives birth you know i feel like that should be priority one Agreed, and but... and I, like i understand what you're saying like the need mm-hmm. to be financially stable financially responsible 100 percent. i'm not disagreeing that that needs to be a thing but from just the context we have from the story, mm. financial issues were not a reason for him to, from what we know, right? No, but he said, I'm making, from from what I remember, mm. I was saying so much. I forgot yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a <laughs> but lot. But I remember him saying, we could use the extra money. Yeah, but like, it's not, okay. What I'm trying to say is like, yes, there's there's a incentive mm-hmm. that he could get from working more, right, financially. But it's not, it's not night and day enough, you know, like it, there's, like if you if you can't make that judgment that if you can't make the judgment that the little increase of money that you'd be getting is not as valuable in terms of like the time mm-hmm. that you have in comparison to the, the the last little stretch of your wife's pregnancy if you can't make that distinction then there's a glaring issue with you i disagree maybe i, don't, I have to, like, i just don't see money as that important at that what? time at no that time. Bro, 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 no i mean like bro, bro, i'm not bro. saying i'm not saying money in general i'm just saying the at little time, the little cushion yeah. of money he'd be getting mm-hmm. from being at work as opposed to like um what is it called um maternity leave yeah. that is not 
a it's not a factor of like being away completely that's not a that's not a reason to be missing in action from being with your sometimes wife sometimes you're getting a fraction of how much you made bro like i depending on i don't like think it's that contract. significant though maternity leave no, no, is no. Set sometimes up. you get 90 percent. yeah which is one of the best stuff mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. sometimes you get 75 sometimes you get less bro you don't always get a fraction you, sometimes people don't even make as much as they made. and, and another thing too is like if we're if you're really going to contextualize this the situation here mm-hmm. if you're okay let's 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 put ourselves in this situation yeah. right you're 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 working at a job, you know, alhamdulillah, everything is set up nice for you, right? And you you and your wife are gonna have a kid. You're offered maternity leave, right? They offer you a significant amount of money uh, that's not 100% your paycheck, mm-hmm. and it's before, well before the time that your wife's gonna give birth. Mm-hmm. Reasonably, and like you know, I'm just thinking, reasonably speaking, most people would have a either discussion or have a, some kind of a plan or some mm-hmm. kind of like they would come to terms with the fact that they're not gonna be making as much money and adapt to that situation plan you know like mm-hmm. make some <clears throat> kind of like action court course yeah. of action you know yeah. what i mean i'm assuming that these people are intelligent enough to have done that at some point or even just him on his own because maybe yeah. he doesn't talk to his <clears throat> wife right yeah, sir so if that is already like that's what i'm saying like that's why i'm saying that this little significant increase in 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 money mm-hmm. is not at that it's not as significant to the point where he has to drop what he's doing and be at work you know it's not that it's not that significant to that point where i just i i totally agree with your mm-hmm. point but we're assuming he has a good job yeah what if he's he doesn't even make that much of a thing first off if if there is a financial issue mm-hmm. if he's like if he needs this money if it's 100 percent needs this money i can understand where yeah. he's coming from and they need to have a discussion about yeah, exactly, like what right? their needs are yeah. what they what they want in a in a life for their family they mm-hmm. need to ta- start having that discussion now before it gets too Fair, crazy yeah. right but judging by how the story was told right Mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like from the wife's perspective that they have money issues you know she more so has issues with being alone and she wants comfort and support and she wants to be you know she wants to be supported in this in this pregnancy time right Mm -hmm. so like him not being there just for a little bit of extra change i can understand that not making sense to her sir you know but maybe maybe the finances were all in charge of him anyway maybe she has no clue as to what the bills are and everything you know but but another i still think he was in the wrong don't get me wrong but there is one thing in the story that i highly disagree with what happened from her side okay which is using her relationship with the boss to kind of go behind his back i don't i think that in itself is kind of betrayal in the relationship i disagree i disagree i disagree heavily because she has a relationship with I don't know how uh, you described it, but she has a relationship with somebody who's close to the boss, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's married to this person. He's uh, like uh, the guy whose uh, wife is pregnant. Mm-hmm. She is, she's his wife, so they know that they're a couple, right? If my, I'm just thinking in my situation. Yeah, if, yeah. I, if I can put myself in that situation, if my wife has that relationship with my boss, mm-hmm. then I can use that relationship to my benefit and get some information that I wouldn't have necessarily been able to. And she did. She got the. <laughs> she got the. She got the a OK. <laughs> That the man can go and live comfortably at home, maternity leave, doesn't have to be at work. But you're, you're not getting, you're not seeing the root issue. The, what is the root re- about the, it? the reason why she did this behind his back is because she didn't believe him in the first place. And then she felt the need to well, go I, through I d- another source. I disagree. I don't think that she didn't believe him. I think that she was trying to help him because she has that sway. She, cause she already has that relationship. I think that she originally, my, my take on it was mm-hmm. that she originally believed him. And said, "Yo, all right." Well, we, we don't help. know that. That's that's how, yeah. that's how I took it. Is what I I'm took saying. it the complete opposite. Really, I took it as you were trying to confirm if what I said was correct. So you went behind my back in order to confirm it with other folk. I disagree. I I I saw that as okay. Your boss is being a dick. I know that boss. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can sway him to understand the necessity of you being here. But that's how I saw no, it. I didn't see like I saw it as you you were trying to go behind my back. Because if she had no relationship me. with the boss and just did that mm-hmm. out of like, you know, the, the need for him to be there, then I would 100% agree with you. But since she was already on, she already had a relationship with that person or his boss or like mm-hmm. had some kind of a form of communication to him. I feel like it's just like, for example, if you're my, if you're if you're my boss. Right. Yeah. And and I'm and I'm married to somebody. Right. And they know you. Right. Like through somebody else or something like that. And. I have a problem at work or let's say like I have, let's say i'm in the same situation where i can't get off work for, for example right yeah if my wife can somehow leverage her relationship with the person you know and it gets to you to mm-hmm. get me off work i'm going to my wife be like thanks yo mm-hmm.